Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. Uh, Louisville goes on the road. A top 10 Louisville team goes on the road to take on the Miami Hurricanes. Miami is 6-4. and four. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Even as a Seminole fan, I've admitted, I think Miami is, is headed in the right direction under Mario Crystal Ball. They're not great yet. I don't think they're very good as far as a great program. Clearly not garbage, though. They're not a laughing stock anymore. They kind of were last year. Not anymore. They're a more respectable program. And they've lost four games. But all of those games have been decided. At least three of them have been decided. No, two of them have been decided by a touchdown or less. And three of those games were away games. Okay? They have beaten Texas A&M, who was supposed to beat them. And they also beat Clemson. Both those teams at home in very good games. Um... The defense was a big factor in both of those games, enforcing turnovers to secure a big victory in both of those games. And I think that Louisville will drop this game at Miami. Look, Louisville's a good team, a good football team. <clears throat> but outside of Notre Dame, who have they beaten in a legitimate legitimately? And let's be honest, when they beat us, they did beat us straight up. And we had a garbage time touchdown to make it look a little closer than what it was, I'll be honest. But at the same time, they had been going through playing Ohio State and Duke and back-to-back -to -back tough games. And then they had to go and play at Louisville. That was a hard thing to do. This game's not at Louisville. Louisville is a little bit different when they're not at home. They're still good, but they're more beatable when they're not at home. But then again, a lot of teams are. But with Louisville, they're very turnover-prone, just like Miami's offense. Uh, they run the football very good, but this is Miami's defense. They give up 86 yards rushing a game on average. Now, I do think Louisville might run it a little bit better than that. They're not going to run the ball over Miami. Miami's defense is nasty, nasty. And Miami's going to be very hungry. Mario Cristobal is going to be very hungry to get a big win, to earn himself a big signature win over a top 10 team. And I'm pretty sure, here's the thing, Mario Cristobal, I know they lost to Florida State, but that should leave them feeling positive in terms of the overall program for the for the future in general. Meaning, hey, we can play with top teams. We can play with elite teams and put up a fight, and win some of these games, and we need to win this one, so I think Miami wins the turnover battle at home, whether it's Van Dyke or anybody, who whoever plays quarterback, I think they'll do just uh, do a fine job, Miami's got like two or three good running backs that can run the football pretty well, I think they'll wear out Louisville's defense after Louisville's offense, Plummer, he's a good quarterback, but he does throw interceptions, he's not very consistent, Miami and Louisville are both very pro, uh, turnover prone teams. I think it will help Miami being at home. I know Louisville's a one-point favorite. I actually think Louisville will lose by two touchdowns or more. They'll lay another egg like they did with Pittsburgh. And again, Miami's not a great team, but they're not a bad football team. They've been in these games. All right, and let's be honest. The Georgia Tech game, that was tough to do, let's be honest. They could easily be 7-3. and three. So, with that being said, give me Miami in a massive upset over a, a top-10 Louisville team. They win this game outright, 20, 31 to 14. Give me the Canes. I think they run the football pretty well. Their defense forces at least four or five turnovers. And uh, I think Miami's offense might turn it over one time or have no turnovers. Up until the Tyler Van Dyke pick, they didn't turn the ball over, so that wasn't really a problem. And Florida State's a better team than Louisville. So, I mean, here's the thing. They probably feel good about themselves better than what they did before and say hey man we can play with a top five team that's really really good we should be able to beat a louisville team that just lost a pit not long ago